stand forward and get the P without voicing, because you have to remember that every time we try to get a voiceless sound, we got a voiced sound. Okay. So you're gonna hold it here, put your finger on his top lip and go, so that he closes his lips, but he doesn't vocalize. Okay. So that's how we're gonna try and get the P. Then, I want to work on differentiating mm, ba, and pa. Okay? So it's basically with the M, with your non-dominant hand, which is my left hand, I'm going to stabilize him, and I'm doing mm, 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 mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I do three repetitions. Okay. Each one. And then I say to him, tell me. Mm. Okay. All right. Without the thing. Uh -huh. mm. and, I'm and I'm doing. Ba, ba, ba. And if he's not closing his lips, you also can try this. Ba, ba, ba. Tell me ba. And then I'm going to tell him, okay, let's draw a quiet sound. Uh -oh. I hear you, cute man. Or I'm going to tell him. Uh -oh. See how you pop your bubbles? Like, okay. Okay, and then let me hear your bubble sound. Like that. Okay. So I'm giving him, I'm giving him visual input. I'm giving him tactile kinesthetic input. I'm giving him oratory input. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to cheek toning, lip rounding. So for all of my vowel sounds, I need to round my lips and contract my cheek. All of his vowel sounds were open because he couldn't he couldn't dissociate his jaw, his cheeks, and his lip. Because every time, if you think about this, if your tongue's here, and you try and right. really pull your cheeks in, okay? Right. So right. now we're gonna work on this. Wah, wah, wah. So lip rounding, cheek contraction, okay? Mm -hmm. After you do this, now remember the vibration is going to facilitate that contraction in your cheeks. Okay? Once you've done that, you're going to go to the apraxia too. So, the smallest one is for ooh. And when you listen to his vowels, they all sound the same. So, you're going to do ooh. Mm, with that, then you're going to go to the O, which is the middle one, which is the yellow. Uh -huh. Same thing. O, mm, O, O, O. And then this is A uh, like in buck. A, uh, A, uh, A. Uh. It's okay for these to be in between his teeth. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, but this is giving you rounding contract. And then I'm using it functionally to get the vowel sounds. Okay. Because I want him to dissociate the vowel sounds. Right. And right now, he's not dissociating the vowel sounds. The same thing with E. You're going to use the smallest knife block, the number two. I guess. But number two, you're going to do this. E, E, E. And remember, he couldn't, have, when you say E, you get tension and retraction. He couldn't ever pull his tongue back like that. Right. Once he gets all these sounds, I would go back and forth and do motor planning. And I just go back and forth between the sounds like, all right, mommy's going to see which one you're going to do. Let's do, oh, let's do, so you're, you're working on changing them as opposed to repetition 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 once he gets it you're going to vary the sounds then we'll work on putting the sounds together and then i'll be ready to say to nancy kaufman please take another look right because he's right once i can get those sounds on a consistent basis right okay? um and you know what i would love you to do i mean I know you have videotapes of all of these, you know, exercises, but I want to see, I want to make sure his tongue is moving the right way. Right. The only 
Okay, I can, and you might want to also send me a short video of him chewing. Okay. So send chewing video. Send me those um, those exercises that we went over. If I need to make a change in an exercise based on what he's doing, okay. I'll send the video back. Well, um, like he's eating a peanut butter sandwich right now, and now when he gets food, it goes to the side. Yay, that's really exciting. Can you bring him in front of you? Can yeah, you bring him hold on, let me find him.